Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well. I'm at my second mining location today and I wanted to follow up with the video that I made last week regarding expanding my mining farm and I haven't done anything yet. I just, <laughs> I've just been procrastinating and I, would, I just want to get more feedback from you guys. I know the community has helped me out before and I know you guys will do it again. So, here is my plan that I wanted to do. I wanted to put another shelf of some sort right here and possibly move this desk to another place. Uh, then, I'm actually thinking of getting a longer shelf because I got one of these Veta frames and this Veta frame does not fit on this resin shelf uh, fully, like it goes from uh, like a little bit over here all the way to the end of this shelf, so it's not ideal I would like to get a, a longer a bit wider shelf so I can fit that rig But uh, yeah, but that's not the main thing I wanted to show you guys today I basically wanted to get help from the community regarding the electrical so As you guys I showed you guys last time I'm running about 5 amps right now on the left bank and another 5 or 6 amps on the right bank. So these two rigs right here are getting about 5 to 6 amps and then these three rigs here including the Radeon 7 on the bottom is getting at 5 amps right now. Uh, the, other, the other light on this PDU just doesn't work anymore so I can't see the amperage reading on that bank. So yeah, that's the PDU part that's, that's sitting right here and the five rigs that are on right now. So a total of about 10 to 11 amps and on this PDU from what I've heard from most of you guys in the last video uh, some of you told me was that this PDU can go up to safely 24 amps. So I still have about 13 to 14 amps to play around with on this thing. So yeah I can still add I can still add a few more rigs, like uh, this Veta frame here, which I still need to fill with GPUs. I'm still trying to find GPUs, <laughs> like right now I'm trying to find a good deal, like I don't have that much money to invest in new cards. I would love to invest in a whole bunch of Radeon 7s, but uh, that's that's a pretty penny, you know, at $1,000 Canadian, so yeah, not not right now, not right now. Another thing I want to explain to you guys is the... You see this cable here that's going from the PDU all the way to the 240 plug right there. Now, my whole reasoning to doing this, now I think some of you did say in the last video that you were worried about, you know, having it like this. Honestly, I'm not worried and my biggest reason why I didn't get the electrician to like, you know, wire a cable going up through there, going through the, going through the wall, down here, down to there is this because it's just too much trouble guys I, 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 I wanted this to be a temporary temporary solution and I, I don't know I don't know if it would have been safe to do it that way to have the wire go through the ceiling into the into the into the wood here I, I didn't want to have any like bottlenecks as well impedance so the longer the electrical run goes the the more impedance or resistance that it would take to it would it would take more wattage per se so I know there was a math formula I found online about that, but in my case, I know it's such a short run from from here into right there, so it's I'm not gonna have any I'm not gonna have any like uh, impedance issues uh, here. But if I explained that wrong, I probably did. I, I'm not an electrician. I'm not an, I'm not an expert, guys. So please, in the comments, please let me know if I explained that right or if it just doesn't matter at all. But anyway, that's my reasoning why I have the plug, the 240 plug right there and not here in case this whole setup is, it's just temporary. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna have this here for a couple more years, right? And I don't wanna have like a 240 plug sitting right there and having to go through and drill and all that work, all that stuff anyway, but yeah. Anyways, now let's go to the main breaker. In the last video, I didn't get much comments because it was also the giveaway video, so I kind of put two two things into one video, and the the later the latter half of the video was about the electrical stuff. So I only got about three or four comments about it, but I wanted to get more comments about it because I know 
when I show this kind of stuff and talk about it, I know, you know, YouTube and internet people are 100% electricians. So, <laughs> and the community will help me out. So I understand that. So I, so here is the electrical panel, guys. So I'll show you the, the main name of this breaker panel here. It says 125 amp and 120 or 240 volt. So that's what it says. This whole panel here is, is 125 amps. And it looks like the main, the main switch, the main panel for the breaker system is right here. It says 100 amp on it. And then everything else is everything else in this house. So this, uh, this plug right here, this 240 volt, that's for my miners for the PDU. It's plugged into this, this breaker right here. This is the 30 amp and uh, either 120 or 240 volt uh, breaker. So that's the breaker that's in there now just for my miners. I would love to add another one of these. So I would like to have two of them. But as you, as you can see, the whole panel is filled up right now. And some of you mentioned in the last video that I could um, find some kind of like slimmer, slimmer breakers and turn some of these 15 amp breakers into slimmer ones. So I see a slim one right here. So that, I'm thinking that's what you guys were talking about. So I can, I can, I can take two of these and split them into one of these. So let me know in the comments if that's a thing. You can see these are all 15, 15 amp, 15 amp, 15 amp, 15 amp, 15 amp, 15 amp, 15 amp. Maybe I could potentially change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them into uh, four, uh, two mini ones, I guess, or four of these mini slim breakers. Then I could free up another four slots and then I could add two more of these 30 amp breakers then I can have two more, I can have two more uh, 240 volt plugs. So I can, <laughs> not sure if that's making sense, but yeah, <laughs> you know, I could have uh, a total of 90 amps for my, um, 90 amps for my whole farm. And I could potentially add more rigs, more shelves right here, you know, and uh, do that kind of thing. I, that would be pretty fun. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so for you electricians out there, let me know, you guys, what I can do. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this panel off so you guys could see inner workings of this breaker system. Maybe there's something I don't know. I'm not, elect I'm not a electrician. I'm saying that again. I'm not an electrician, so please, I'm, I'm down for any criticisms in the, in the comments. Let me know, guys. Let me know. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm just going to take this panel off. Alright guys, I got the panel off and this outer panel that was uh, attached to it. So, this is what it looks like. This house is from the 1970s, so this electrical wiring, I don't know, I, I can't tell if it's good or not, but you guys can tell me. But anyway, so here, here it is. Get a good close look at that, you electrician people. Let me know what you think here, and if it is possible for me to do uh, slim, slim breakers here and uh, let me know if also if I can do that myself. Please let me know in the comments or if you guys are in the Discord channel, please uh, like take a picture of this or something. I'll hold the frame right here and maybe you guys can tell me uh, what's possible or not. Again, this is the breaker right here that that's for this guy right here. So let me just see if that's actually going up to where it's going. Yeah, so this breaker is the 240, 240 for my uh, mining farm, my little mining farm right now. Uh, these, these two cables. So let me know, guys. I'm, I'm very curious. I, I want to get this done. I want to add more power. So yeah, pretty much right now I'm only, I'm only using 10 to 11 amps out of this 100 amp to 125 amp uh, panel. So, wow, look at those. What are these? Are those, is that, is that ground? That must be ground. Because it's white, right? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Anyways, guys. Oh, I see. So these ones each have their own. There's no, there's no ground going into the breaker. It's just the positive, right? So, ah, I see. So then the, po the ground ones go there. Interesting, interesting.
So yeah, let me know what you think. And regarding my adding another shelf uh, there or maybe in front. And as well, let me know about this wiring. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate all of you. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.